What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six, I'm Rob. Doing a unpeated 15 year old Sherry Scotch showdown over here. So that's a lot to say in one sentence, but we got the Macallan 15, which is double aged in two different types of Sherry. American oak that held Sherry and then Spanish oak that held Sherry. This Glendronic Revival is Oloroso and PX Sherry. And the Glen Alecky 15 is Oloroso and PX as well. So I thought that this would be the fairest comparison uh, in the 15 year old range. I'm gonna start over here with the lightest in ABV being the Macallan at 43%. So this has opened up a bit from when I first opened it. It's $230 at the LCBO and pretty much across Canada at this point. The nose still has some old school Macallan characteristic to it. I got the double oak or double cask. Yeah, double, double cask because I wanted to see if I could replicate those sherry notes that I get from older uh, Macallan Expressions. This used to, the 15 was only available prior to a few years ago in triple cask. Uh, so, and I always found that the triple cask had more sherry influence at the 15 year old level than it did at any other of the levels because it didn't have a sherry exclusive uh, counterpart. So I was very curious when they came out with this because it was going to basically be uh, and the 15 year old Macallan expression without the bourbon cask influence. And you do definitely get the Macallan style here. Sweet, orange, light, milk chocolate. Nice like orchard kind of fruits as well. Maybe some berries. Red fruit. Okay. It's very pleasant on the nose, I'm not gonna lie. It's expensive for what it is. Let's see how it is on the palate. Okay, so 43%, but it doesn't drink 43%. It actually drinks a little bit hotter than 43 which I found a little strange when I first opened it. It does have some pleasant notes. It's got like that orange chocolate kind of flavor, uh, very Macallan um, reminiscent. If you know Macallan's profile, you'll know that this is Macallan. It's why I didn't want to do this in a blind challenge because I knew that the Macallan would taste like the Macallan and I'd get that off the hop and I'd probably be able to identify the Glen Alecky leaving the Glendronic as the only one that is maybe not something I would recognize off the hop, but when it's a three bottle challenge, it's not very difficult. Um, this is good. There is something maybe a little sharp on the tail end when you're swallowing. It's maybe a bit metallic, but other than that, it has a lot of great character to it. Um, it's definitely sherry forward. It's definitely a Macallan expression. It doesn't drink as old as the bottle says. Uh, I've had Macallan expressions that are probably younger, that are for sure younger in the older school, 12 year old. Um, and then some of the no age statements that I've had over the years drink actually a little bit older than this one, which is strange in my opinion. I do wonder how much the Spanish oak plays a factor into this, but these are seasoned casks. So Macallan seasons their own casks as far as I'm aware. 43%, uh, which means out of the three of these, it's the only one that's chill filtered. So there's that as well. Um, I gotta give this one like an 86. It's really good. Is it worth the price tag? Absolutely not. It's not worth 230 bucks. Very good, just not excellent in my opinion. 
Gonna move over here to the Glendronic 15. Uh, this is the first time in a long time that the LCBO actually got the Glendronic 15. Uh, 46%, really well priced at 120 bucks. That's probably gonna change the next time they get this because the 12 year old is $100 and the 18 year old is $230. So it's kind of in a weird position at 15 years old, 46% uncho filtered, all those great things, no added cutler. And yeah, it doesn't quite make sense for the pricing at the LCBO, one of the few really good deals, I guess, um, on the pal or on the nose anyway. So this definitely has more of like a syrupy sweetness on the nose. Not as rich on the nose as the McCallum for sure. Definitely still get some red fruit, maybe like a touch of a green kind of note, like a leafy green kind of note. I'd be very interested to know where they're sourcing their casks. I know that McAllen sources from Jerez. This has a nice nose, but nothing like overly uh, intriguing by any means. Maybe a, a touch of chocolate, like dark chocolate. Hit a hint of citrus, maybe a little bit of citrus. That's really all I'm getting out of that. So, Big controversy behind Glendronic for removing their uh, non-chill filtered label on the actual uh, tins and bottle. Basically, it came down to being able to uh, be in accordance with the Scotch Whiskey Society or something of that sort. Uh, so apparently they are still not chill filtering their whiskeys, but this doesn't remind me of the Glendronic revivals of past. Obviously those had older whiskey in them as well. But for what, what it's priced at, $110 less than this. Viscosity wise, it's tough because you don't really get that, that it's much um, more viscosity than a 43% McAllen, to be honest with you. You don't get any of that like metallic sharp notes that I was getting from the McAllen, but the nose on the McAllen actually beats out the Glendronic by a lot. And I'm not exaggerating, it's a lot. The palette's a little bit better on the Glendronic than on the McAllen. So that being said, knowing that I have beef with McAllen and all these different things, I'm gonna try to be as unbiased as possible in this review. This is about the same. It's about an 86. I would say uh, if I gave half points, I'd give the edge to the Glendronic because of the price. It's a much better price. Obviously, this is the better buy. Uh, $110 less. Are you getting that much better of an experience with this McAllen 15? I don't think so. The nose is a lot better for sure, but the palette's a touch better, like I said, on the Glendronic. It's got less heat for sure. You definitely can tell this is an older Scotch, whereas with the Macallan, yeah. Despite being a lower ABV and the fact that it's chill filtered, it's still hotter, which is strange. Uh, if that wasn't the case with the McCallum, the McCallum would actually be better. But because it's hotter and it's a lot more expensive, I have to give the Glendronic an 87. I think that's a fair mark 
for that at that price. I wouldn't pay much more if it's gonna continue to come in tasting like this, to be honest with you, uh, but it is what it is. That's the, that's probably low end now for a 15 year old sherried scotch. Over here to the Glen Alecky. Okay, and like Billy Walker definitely chose a character that he liked with Glen Alecky and stuck to it because it's identifiable in each one of the expressions, much like I would say McAllen is, to be honest with you. Whereas with Glendronic, I don't know if I would be able to pin it on the nose the way uh, I can on these other two. But yeah, all that sherry goodness with like a coastal wet rock kind of note in the background. Oranges, chocolate. I would say that McAllen probably has the most distinct distillery characteristic on the nose out of like most scotch, to be honest with you. But Glenallic is pretty close as far as being able to identify it on the nose. Okay, so again, 46% on this one. So nose, maybe a touch of an advantage to the McAllen, not quite mu uh, much more than that. Um, the nose on the McAllen is probably a 90, to be honest with you. It's the palate that really lacks and brings that mark down. Um, the nose on this Glenallachy is up there as well. I'd say probably like an 88, but it's the palate where this really shines. Yeah, it drinks older than 15. It's probably the oldest tasting 15 year old that I have tasted. Yeah, just really, really nice on the palate. Um, well-rounded, honestly, really, really well-rounded. Um, there's nothing bad you can say about this. It's not hot at all, like zero heat. almost like a bubblegum note up front. Then you get the red fruit, you get cherries, you get chocolate, some dark chocolate and coffee. Um, it's all there. And the more you take time with this one, the more you're gonna enjoy it. This one has to be like an 88, maybe even an 89. Honestly, it's really, really good. I stocked up on it. I think it's fantastic. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go with an 89. I think that's the fair mark for the 15 year old. One of those whiskeys you have to have on your bar. Um, I got this at a really, really good deal uh, from my friends at BSW. Um, it was 113 and change. So 115, 113.50 or something like that. Uh, less than 114 bucks. I know that the price on Glen Alky has gone up, which is why I stocked up before that happened. Um, so I think you're looking at around $135 now. That being said, um, and that's without taxes and shipping. So I'm assuming that, you know, the LCBO will get this in at around like 160 bucks. Um, and I think the SAQ got it in at like 150. So good at those prices, it's getting hard, uh, but still very, very good for what you're getting. Um, and still much better in my opinion than the McAllen at the $230 mark, that's crazy. So all very good. I, the only real insult to this McAllen is the choice of ABV. The fact that it's still a little bit hot at 43% doesn't make sense to me, but mainly it's the price. The price doesn't make sense at all. So again, just to recap, 86, 87, and that's an 89, all right? Hope you like this video, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, uh, consider joining my Patreon uh, for as little as $1 a month. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Cheers, guys. Happy